This is the scenario. We have a power page that is basically showing a view, a list of elements, and we want to edit some of the, well, those elements, but we also want to create elements that are child to that specific element. What does that mean? We want to create sub-elements that belong to that overall element. For example, if we had a project, we would be able to create all the deliveries belonging to that project. Or if we have a KPI with their description, we would be able to create all the values that according to X amount of time, they belong to that KPI. So how do we do that in Power Pages? Let me show you. This is our Power Page. You can see here that we're showing all the projects that we have in our organization. And let's say I want to edit Project 1. Inside of Project 1, right now, it's redirecting me to another page where it's going to show me all the details of Project 1. So we have all the KPIs that are belonging to that project, all the deliverables, all the risk. Here, I could always come and create a new deliverable. It will show me a pop-up with all the information specific to that deliverable. And the same with the KPIs, the same with the risk. But what happens if what I want is for these specific KPIs, I want to provide the historic value. So every month we have a different value for that KPI. Do I have to hop to another page once again and then have to come back all the time? It's not necessary. We can come here where we usually would go to edit that specific KPI. We still have the option to edit, to remove it or to just see the details. But we can also update the KPI value in this case. This is basically a pop-up for a child of that element, basically a sub-element of that parent element. So if we come here, it will show me a different form where I can select the KPI that I want to input child values for. This is just a name. We can have any other filter. Let's say that I want to give the value for I don't know, June. We can create the status date. So basically, what's the date when we're input, inputting that value, when that value is available for? Let's say it's today. And what is the value? Let's say it's 120. And we just send it. Now it's processing that. And there we have it. We have input as a value without having to edit the whole KPI. Okay, this is great, but how exactly we do it? We first have to come to the Power Pages administration site. Here we will go to our website. Inside our website, we go to all our basic forms. And inside our basic forms, we need to look for which one is the one that belongs to what we're seeing right now. OK, so whatever is your form that you're seeing in that specific place. In this case, it's this one. I just open it. And then if we go to the metadata, we have different metadata. Each one is the metadata for this one or for this other list, or for this other list, or in this case, subgrids. So if I pick the first one and I edit it, the first one belongs to the KPIs, okay? If I go all the way to the bottom, we see that we have an option for the creation, basically this crear in Spanish, then we also have an option for create related element, which is this update KPI value. And we have the rest of the options of edit, remove, and details. That's basically how you do it. Here you can input the uh, form that is, that is coming from another table. And that's the key part. It comes from another table. And that's about it. You save it, publish, and you can start using it.